Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly to senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. It is a game called Realm of Magic. Now, people in comments have said, have said, people in comments have said that I should play this game. Well, I got a YouTube paycheck, and I bought the game, and son of a gun. It is 1.45 p.m. It is very Terraria-like, but it has one huge advantage over Terraria. And yes, I'm... Instead of starting over with a new game, I am playing in a game already started. And I'll show you some things. Like, you have to drink water and eat food. On my characters list, I have all these baked potatoes to automatically eat when it's time because you have to eat and drink. I have all this armor from light leather to a little bit of tin to a barrel. I have tin hammers. I have an extra bag. These are my general abilities and skills. Well, not skills. My offense and defense. And this right here, I might as well show you real quick, is all the various things it has, like your backpack. I made a couple other packs so I could carry more, because this is all you start with. To your talents, you get talent points to make things. Shows your skills, don't have a lot yet. Your various professions, but it's just the various things that you're leveling up. To your just basic handcrafting. Your journal, which to be honest, I've never actually looked in. Oh yeah, I have to bring a lesser healing potion to him? Do I have any lesser healing potions? I need to check and see. The thing that's most amazing about this is you see how this is a map? A huge actual map map? And yet, it's two-dimensional? Well, let's go talk to this guy. I don't have any healing potions yet. Yeah, I've already talked to you, buddy. I need to get him a healing potion, and he wants me to go to the town of Woodbury. Now, there's a bunch of quests in the guidebook that you can do. I've completed all of these. Completing your character, hunting animals, weaving cloth, crafting a furnace, crafting alchemy bottles. I have to figure out the alchemy stuff. And each one of these things still gets you to such. So now I have to start a fruit farm. I have to figure out how to get trees and travel to the town of Woodbury. Now if we take a look again at the map, I'm not sure where the town of Woodbury is. Is that? It's right there. And you can see that's a distance. Let's go shhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
with all these various things right now, which is the stuff that I have on me that I could make. And up here, I have this bucket filled with stuff. This bucket filled with stuff. This bucket filled with stuff. And this bucket. You know what, though? Minor healing potion. I wonder if I can go get that to that fella. If you double tap in the direction you run, you run. I mean, you want to run. And you see my green thing is just going down. E. Farewell. How could I, like, trade with you or something? I have a... It's like J for journal. I need to bring one lesser potion of healing. This, oh, it's a minor potion of healing. No wonder. Okay. Such is life. But we're going to run now in this direction to get all the way over to the other side. So you can see further what I've done. I'd show you... Here's my little farm. These are potato plants, I think. It is 1.50 p.m. These are... I can't remember what the weird name they have for the plant, but it's kind of a weird name. Like jute or some odd thing. It happens. It's probably a real name for all I know. But if we take a look on the map here as well, this area, the wilderness starting location is peaceful. Now this one over here shows it's peaceful too, but that's because I just went and stomped on the things that live there. And once again, I'll show you because I love the fact that this is a 2D map like Terraria, but I've often wanted the ability to go further. And this being much, much more than what you can see because of that map is amazing. If I'm kind of hissy slurring a bit, it's my lower plate is really loose right now. And since I wear dentures, okay, now I'm at the edge of the map. Press M to travel. So now when you click on there and hit travel, Well, son of a gun, guess what? I've traveled. Oh, also, Z turns on the travel torch. So if you have a torch, it'll pop it there. I don't know how long they last. I guess forever if you make a travel torch. Now, I'd gone all the way through on this one because there were wolves over here. And at first, they were just, they were killing me. Literally, they would murder me all the time until I got this armor and I got oh yeah if you hit R you go from the equip menu to the combat menu and I got this sword it's a good sword I have to take lift it up if it'll oh yeah C duh 12 to 16 all my other weapons like topped out at 10 to 14 or some silly thing like that so now it does very well. Munch on that baked potato. So now I'm just running all the way across just to show you how big this area and world can be. It's absolutely amazing because of that. I mean, everything that was on that previous map is still there. My house, my home. But now here's another map that's just as big and just as deep because I'll show you the mapping and just the, the mapping the mining oh, too far away boy I'm gonna run out of torches here pretty quick but we're only gonna go to this other side The one thing that is somewhat annoying, when you enter a new map, apparently you enter on the left. Now you see I'm also holding my mouse over all these things and to see if they'll light up. 
because if they'll light up, then you can interact, and if you can interact with them, then you can get seeds or petals or, well, any other sort of resource that's good stuff. As you can see, this is quite some distance it goes. And they're all like this. Every single one of the squares on that map is like this. Look at that thing. Apparently, one of the plans is to make it more Minecrafty in that it will be an infinite map and not one that's just limited by the edges. So there's some plans and I really like a lot of what is done in this game. I mean just the fact that it's got an overworld and you can travel between. Oh, I've used up all of my torches. H for that. How many torches can I make? Just eight? Oh, what do I need? Sticks? Let's make some sticks. Apparently that's not it. You also have to make... Let's take that off because pine torch you need. Yeah, burlap cloth. And I don't have any burlap cloth, so we're just going to have to run on back. But here's how you collect trees as well. This symbol right here. If you remember this with all of these weapons here, you will auto choose the correct weapon in this mode just by left clicking on the appropriate item. Like here I'm using just auto chose the axe and I'm cutting down the trees. But if I just want to dig this out, he brings out the shovel. It's very, very cool that way. And yep, there's a pick and there's another weapon as well. I think it's a weapon, I can't remember. In fact, let's take a look at that. Yeah, you got the shovel, the pick, your hatchet, and a hammer. Oh yeah, the hammer is for removing items that you've placed so you can pick them back up again. Otherwise, you're stuck. Wearing that big bulky barrel does slow me down. I know it's it's late and I'm tired. Make it back to my house and I, I got a, a place I can sleep, I'll show you. I wish it was possible to travel between maps other places than the edge. It is more than a little annoying that you have to run all the way to the edge, especially when the maps are quite of a size. I've been to the other edge of this one map here. It's a very tall mountain over there. So we haven't even hit the far edge yet. They're just big. But you will be able to see the what the left hand side of this looks like in just a moment. Here we go. Back to the old kingdom. Because once again, I'm started all the way over on the left, even though I left on the right. Which is fine. Ooh, drink. There we go. Oopsie. Until I can get a water skin or some such, I don't know. Some way to carry water. I have to keep running back to these wells. Luckily, there are at least two of them on this side of the map. No, there's just two. There's the one that we just passed. And then when we come back up here, hopefully... Well, not hopefully, it just takes a while. Because the maps are huge! Ok, 
I'm <laughs> going this morning. Come on now, run, run your stubby little legs. Here we go. That's the second one. Which is right next to this filler. Right up here where I have my home. And I might as well show you what I've got down here. Come on, sometimes it's a little tough getting down these one. Oh, will you stop it? There we go. Let's see, was it over this way? No, that's just that tiny little one. This is mud or muck. Some slimy stuff that makes disgusting noises when you walk over it. But here we are, we're getting closer and, well, closer to being further down. Ooh, that could have been a bad hit. further and further down. I've gone quite some distance, to be honest. Gotten me some ores. But here we are. Oh, that's salt. Oddly enough. If you collect salt, you apparently can use it to make dye? I'll go a little bit down and show you. Oh, here we are. We're digging up some copper. Because you have to dig up your ores this way. I should have a bunch of bronze. I made up a bunch of bronze. Is this all that I have? Yeah, just 10 bronze bars. Oh my, I made a lot of copper and a lot of tin. And it ended up making not that much bronze, apparently. Oh, you may. Oh, but here we go. It is 2.01 p.m. If you like what you've seen or like what you've heard, if you could toss me a like, that would be very, very cool. I do appreciate all the positive validation. Whoa, went up a level in the mining. That would be very cool. I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Did I say that right? If you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, that would be very, very cool. Now, if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes. I deposit them in the back of my heart, where I draw interest, so thank you very much. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be extremely cool, greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not want to, but if you were down with it, I would do my very, very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Which is a very good thing. You do have that travel lamp, which helps. Now I have to get these. I should have gone that direction. If you like watching older people play video games, which hopefully you're watching this now, but if so, I do have a game channel that would be very cool if you could check out. Links are in the show more below. But that would be cool if you could check that out. I am trying to get it monetized, of course, because I I almost had it monetized, then they changed the rules, and now it's not, so whether or not it gets monetized, though, is secondary. What is important is making videos for people to enjoy, so if you check it out, and if you watch the videos and enjoy them, then I think that's a win-win right there, even if it never gets monetized doesn't have to. But, oh, a little bit more I see there. Oh. A little bit of iron. Now that one's hard to come by. There's a lot of tin. A lot of tin. I have found a fair amount of copper. I have found maybe three iron so far. That is not as easy to find. But to all the kind commenters, out there that have been leaving me comments on all my game videos and suggested that I get this game. Thank you very, very much. I don't get much money from YouTube, but I like to spend the money that I do on things like video games. I don't make enough that it could make a major change in my life by... <coughs> oh, 
excuse me, major change in my life by trying to save save it up and spend it on like I don't know uh, glasses or something maybe. Because at 40 bucks, it would still take me like four months to gather it up, and by then, I'll have spent it on something like food. So, might as well spend it on something I enjoy. There we go. Might as well head back up and out of here, too. I don't, it, the way my finger rolls on the mouse thing, it is so easy to go in the exact opposite direction of where I need to go. Like, I find it so easy to roll this way when all I want to do is go to and I'm there. So, I don't know what's going on. Probably some neurological disorder. That would be terrifying. Let's hope it's not. I doubt it would be terrifying. Plus, I doubt there's a neurological disorder that makes you roll your mouse in a specific fashion. And no other symptoms. I walk so slow in this barrel. It is funny. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Here. We are going to sleep for... What time is it? We're going to sleep for four hours. Sleep. Bingo. Now it's daytime. Do I have anything that I could cook? Nope. Okay. No animals or critters, so... Oh yeah, let's go check on my farming. Is this stuff... Oh yes! See that? Potatoes and potato seeds. And then this stuff is called jute? Like I say, it could well be like a real thing, jute. Keep these things... Hold. But we're going to grab all these things, and this is what you make burlap with. So that, yeah, I can make those things that I was looking for. Now, these things are still growing, so that's fine. Let's pick this up so we can plant some potatoes. And then we've already got the jute seed down, but let's run up here and plant potatoes all the way across. Really? Why won't that one plant? Huh. Oh, they de -hoed. There we go. That's rough. Okay, and then we'll just put in jute for the rest of this. Because I'm a farmer. And I'm farming. Did that... Oh, that one de hoed too. That is just disturbing the way that happens. Let's see if I can keep these things all hoed. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I didn't know that it was that difficult. How about that? Hey, might as well. Burlap is apparently extremely useful here. So let's keep a plant in that burlap plant. Yeah, if it makes burlap, it must be like a real thing. Jute. Learn something new every day. Is that just... what is that stuff? Is this gushy? Yeah. What is that? Oh, just mud. Okay. It's already nighttime again? Oh, well Graveyard Keeper has a game. Graveyard Keeper? Do I have the game Graveyard Keeper? I don't know. Not important. What is important, though, is making tin bars. And then making copper bars. Son of a gun, huh? Now, I could make 
bronze bars. I need to do it. Hopefully I can actually create things. Do I have any talents that I could do yet? No, talent points. Zip. Ooh. Really? That's bad. I wonder if it's, do I have like no wood or anything? I have sticks. Huh. Maybe I need to make burlap cloth. How much burlap cloth can I make? Let's make about half. So that way I can make torches too. Amazing the way that sounds. I need burlap rope too. Son of a gun. That will at least allow me to make torches, at, if nothing else. And I'll show you that part which you've seen already, but still. I can't remember if any of these things were useful. Like, where are they? Pine torch. How many can we make? 112. Yeah. It must be done. I have a lot of sticks though. Yay! Now I can turn pine wood, or is it pine blocks, or planks back into, like, it's silly. I wouldn't want to do it anyway. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's like you gotta be in constant vigilance just to keep your farm working. Okay, now I've got torches. Which I still need to put the torches in here. Where are they? Can't see them. I am blind. Here we are. Uh, there. Yeah. Okay. What I want to do really, really quick, now that I got torches, is we're going to go. That's gravel. That's why it sounds like gravel. Oh boy, that's kind of a quick fall. Quick fall? Hard fall. I need to be a little bit more careful. I don't want to take damage from that. Okay, we're almost there. Is this the deepest point? Yeah, that's what we just did, right? I think that's right. Yeah. So let's keep on going downward. Oh, don't, don't do that. There's that stuff over there, though. I, I need that. Gimme. Just let me get that, that ore, and then we're gonna head downward. I'm not gonna grab it all. Is that... Iron? Yeah. And that's iron too, isn't it? I don't know that I've smelted any iron with all of the iron that I've, like, dug up. Oh, this is just tin. Get out of my way, you. Okay, down we go. We're just going to, well, I'm not going to adjust, but well, largely, yeah. We're just going to go kind of straight down for some time. Ooh, I will say, I've never seen a cave. So I don't know if there are caves. And I don't know if there's any sort of, well, if there's no caves, there's no underworld system, so right now I have no ideas. And we're going further now than I've ever been before in the game. So we'll just take a quick run down here a little further. It's going to be a slightly longer video, I'm, I'm sorry. Ooh. Apparently these lower levels are where you need to go for iron. But we're just going to keep on going straight down, because all I need to do is put those platforms in place and then jump on my way up. And I got 134 of them. I got plenty. 
so we're actually going to, well, thank you very, very much for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. It is greatly appreciated. I am glad that you have come with me. It is very nice. There are lots of ores and such here that I need to pick up. And I will, but for right now, I'm just heading downward to see how deep it goes and what there is. So again, thank you very, very much for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. Ooh, can I get through this stuff? It's possible I can't get through this material with just the pick that I have. Well, hey, once again, you take care. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing.